Hello, I hope this message finds you safe and warm. I'd like to take a moment to review several teachings regarding safety, especially in light of the approaching hurricane. In Parshas Va'aschanon, we read, V'nishmartem me'od l'nafshosecha. You shall exceedingly guard your life. Chazal, our sages of blessed memory, teach us that one must do everything possible to guard one's safety and avoid unnecessary risks. In Parshat Nitzavim, we read, Choose life that you and your descendants may live. On face value, this is teaching us to make the decisions necessary to ensure the safety and well-being of ourselves and our family. It could also be understood on another level. When the Torah is telling us, You shall exceedingly guard your life. It's talking about being vigilant in the face of immediate danger. However, when the Torah tells us, You should choose life. It's talking about making wise decisions that may be immediate and long-term, immediate or long-term. It is also telling us that the results of those decisions are immediate and long-term. In the immediate future, the mantichya, in order that you should live, ato, you, v'zarecha, your descendants, when we make wise choices, when our choices can be classified of b'charta b'chayim, that we're choosing life, we're choosing to a path that preserves our life, we model a responsible behavior that our children will follow in our footsteps, hopefully. That's our prayer. If we model irresponsible behavior, our children learn from that example as well. And every action that we take not only results in our immediate safety or lack thereof, it also influences the decisions that our children will make for generations to come. The Talmud teaches us Chamira Sakanta Meisura that a matter of danger is dealt with more stringently than a ritual prohibition, with three exceptions delineated in the Shulchan Aruch Avodas Alilim, turning to idol worship, Gilu Yarayus, incest, and Shvichos Dalmin, murder. These are the only three commandments that are considered cardinal sins and take precedence over pikuach nefesh, over preserving our safety, our security, our life. The fact that the Torah found only three egregious sins that are to be avoided at all costs and everything else has no precedence over our safety and security speaks volumes to the importance that the Torah and our tradition place on preserving our individual safety and security. We're taught Divrei Harav, the words of the Master, the Divrei Talmud and the words of the student, Divrei Nishamim. Which words would we listen to? Tradition teaches us that if somebody, God forbid, tries to influence us and dissuade us from following the teachings of our sacred texts, we are to understand that they too are mandated to follow the divine will. In this particular situation, we may have to make decisions as to whether we're going to follow the mandate of an employer or a client and go out and face threats to our safety and security or if we are going to follow the words of our sacred texts and place our safety and security above all else and model responsible behavior for our children. May God give us the strength to make wise decisions 
in the face of this storm which is approaching. It's my hope and prayer that you will find warmth and shelter during this storm, that your heating and your electricity will remain operative, and that God will bless us with minimal negative effects from this approaching storm. Shalom.